Greetings and salutations, ladies, gentlemen, and NPDarkables. Back to the Duke Zone. Welcome into the Duke Zone. My name is Wolfie, and I humbly invite you to episode 72 of the Thousand Year Bark, the Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door playthrough. This might actually be the last episode. I can't believe we're almost at the end. Last time, we got through the whole Palace of Shadow. We met Garotus finally. We kicked his ass. Then, of course, as soon as he's trying to power up, he gets knocked out by Bowser. And we fight Bowser and the Koopa that's helping him go along. The, uh, as he called her, the old hag. So, he ran away with the princess. So now that means that we will have to stop Grotus from uh, obtaining whatever it is he's trying to obtain. Right? So let's get out there. And as you can see... Bowser is no longer there. He just disappeared after we left the room. So we have a healing point here. Let's see. We don't need it. We're very close to getting a level up as well. So that's pretty good. Let's just get down here. Actually, can I? Yeah, I can. Perfect. We'll see what happens in this uh, very exciting room. Jam and jelly. Awesome. Let's remember to save. There's no harm in uh, saving a little bit more often, you know? Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing around here. Well, here we go, everybody. Wish us luck. I have a feeling that the boss is right on the other side. Yeah. Too bad for you, Mario. You're too late. What's going on here? <laughs> Look well! In the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure! This tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction! It will possess Peach's body, and bring life to the most powerful witch in millennia! <laughs> possess Peach? Mario, I'm so sorry. Sending you that map caused all this trouble, didn't it? <laughs> With the power of the demon, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. The world will be mine! Now, arise! Arise, my shadow queen! Uh-oh. Uh, okay, he knows the, uh, he knows what's going on. Uh-oh. The casket is open, and a dark hand reaches out to Peach. Oh my goodness, that is scary. Um. Please do not possess Peach, I beg of you. I wonder how we're able to handle it. Huh? So an eternal darkness spreads across the lands now? Um, we better stop this. Some, like, like, stat. Ooh. Oh no. They're all gonna be so worried. Oh no. Ah, uh, that sucks. Uh, uh, well, hmm. What's going on? <laughs> Br brother? The sky, it's... I have to remember a lot of voices I've done throughout this series. <laughs> What's all this? The sky, it's turning dark. Who has called me back? 
It is I, my Shadow Queen. You... very well. Where is the vessel? It is here, this girl who lies before you. Yes, a fine vessel. Now... Um... Um, this is bad. <laughs> What's all this then? Am I to deduce that this is the end of the world? What's that? Something terrible has happened. No. Could that dark power have truly awakened? No, this is unthinkable. <laughs> Witness my rebirth. My soul has not yet fully accustomed to this vessel. But I will learn to control this body soon enough. P Peach! Yes, my glorious witch queen. Destroy these impudent fools! Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Uh, what do you mean? I thought you were bound to obey the one who woke you. Enough of this prattle. Do as I say. Now I will send you back to the depths. Um, uh, He's gone. You were doing well to learn your proper place, slave. No one commands me. He is gone. My powers are not yet fully restored. But they will come in time. What's going on, Gonzalez? This is nuts! My queen... My queen... You have returned to us! Ah, Belden. What ages have passed? So, you are the one truly responsible for calling me back, yes? Yes, my queen. I searched for a pure maiden that you might inhabit. And as I said, I spread the rumor of a great treasure. Then I let the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties admirably. I am not worthy, my queen. And who are these beings that stand before me? Yes, they do not appear to possess power. But they may be of use. If you will become my faithful servants, I will not harm you. Gonzalez serves nobody, lady. Right, Gonzalez? I see. So you defy me. How amusing. Then, you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways. You are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. Gonzalez, we're not real champs unless we beat this evil lady. So don't go soft on me. That's not Peach, you know. Show no mercy. Okay, sure, sure, sure. 150 HP? What the hell? So what we need to do here is that we definitely need to put as much damage onto her as possible. So I do think the power bounce is really good for this. Uh, 
and there's some points. Oh, wow. That's a powerful uh, hit right there. Let's charge up and show this uh, witch who's boss. Nice. Okay. So far, so good. We'll use the power bounce again. And she's using some magic. Oh, she boosted her attack. That's not good. So, we're swapping partner for... Ooh. I can actually just put Goombella into battle because she has the multibunk as well. Oh, she's uh, super weak. So, she's a meat, uh, a meat shield. Well, well, let's do a piercing blow. As much stylish as possible. Oh, no. I. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, she definitely became the meat sponge, that's for sure. She took all of those hits. She was very happy about it because she was finally being useful. <laughs> it's bobbery time, baby. The, the tankiness is nothing to scuff at. No. Stop being annoying. Go away. I need to look at the powerful supernova. That's six. So we need one more. Okay, perfect. Another excuse to use power bounce. Okay, she's not defended any long. Oh, she's not uh, being protected any longer. So that's a good thing. Beautiful. She's at 87. We're almost at the six points. No biggie. Hmm, so you are not weak. Maybe you are less useless than you appear. This body is unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you real power. Uh, okay. In this form, your attacks are like those of a child to me. You're lucky. You will perish with the honor of having seen true terror and power. <laughs> the audience around the daisy passed out. Okay, so from what I can gather, we need to remove... Oh, uh, we need to remove something. Wait, what if we did it like this, and then... Uh, used an item, so we can get some, uh... Okay, I see we only have the jam and jelly. I mean, it's the last battle. It's the final battle! So let's just rock with that, get our, uh, flower points back. Then use the bomb on Basts to, uh, get rid of the hands and all that. Oh, wow, that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Is that your idea of attack? Foolish. Oh, wow. What? You can steal HP? Um, okay. Hey, let's actually just move here. Oh, damn it. I think going through defenses would work. <laughs> now, taste my power. Best I could do right there. Ah, I couldn't defend that in time. All right, they're awake again, which is good. Uh, since that doesn't work, what am I supposed to do then? Hmm. I guess items would work? Or what? Nope. 
Does not work. Um, I don't want to dare do that if it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Hmm, what a troublesome little pest you are. <laughs> Yes, I have recovered from any slight damage you may have caused earlier. And now I will punish you for your resistance. Mario, what's next, old boy? This looks rather dire. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. I will ask you again. Will you save me? If so, I will forgive you for this. Save a witch? My Scarlet would be rather angry with me, I would think. <laughs> Very well. Then you will perish. What? What's this? The crystal stars are a power-up, baby! The crystal stars? Ooh! Huh? Hey, yo! What? The thousand year door that's right underneath is now using the crystal stars to help us. That's so sick. Go crystal stars, I choose you! It will break her armor or something like that. I'm so happy I didn't like spend it. Mm. Now? Watch this shiny thing. Mayor, it's a crystal star. Uh, uh, but I thought Mario had this thing. Hmm. I wonder, kids, if this is related to the sky getting all dark or whatnot. Hmm. You may be right, but I don't know. But if anything's happened to my boy Coops and Mario. Oh dear. Coops, you're okay, right? You promised you'd come back okay. Crystal Star! What in the world? What's that doing here? This is very mysterious. Oh, yes, yeah, so mysterious then. Step out of it, Elder! Brother, Mero's in trouble. That's what the Crystal Star is here to tell us. I just know it. What? Could it be? Hey, you're right, Petuni. I can hear. I can hear it! The Crystal Star is speaking to us! It's telling us that Mario is fighting to save the world! And he's in deep trouble! Mario, Flurry, come on, don't give up! Yeah, you can do it, guys! Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting! Gonzalez. I mean, Mario. I know you're fighting far away right now. For us. For all of us. This crystal star has told us of your last brave stand. Maybe we can't do much to help you. But we're thinking of you. All our wishes are for you. For your victory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rock out, great Gonzalez. <laughs> Listen to me, Gonzalez. Anybody who's been me is not allowed to lose. That's right, you, Star. The red shrimp that beat us to never give in. Right. Worth sending you all our strength, G-Man. You feeling the love, my man? Gonzalez! Fight on, Mario. Don't you give up, Mario. Give it to them. Fight, fight. Yeah, never give in. Yes, believe in yourself. Fight! Mario, you may feel like it's going rough, like the tides have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. Please don't give in. Vivian was your name, right? 
I'm a bit worried about the girl that was with Mario. She seemed so innocent. They'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I still remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe that light will return to our world. Fight, Mario! Fight on! Fight! Mario, don't give up! Stop him! You can do it! Come on, you bilge pumps! I can't blow me hear you! Fight, Bobby! Fight! Once more! Go, go, go! Do it! Fight! You got him! Admiral Bobbery, show him what a real sea bomb's made out of, mate! Never give in! No surrender! Keep fighting! I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I'm quite sure he'll prevail. Well, I worry nonetheless. I so hope there's a future in which my little Bob can grow and prosper. Well then, I suppose all we can do is give him a rousing cheer, hmm? Yes, certainly. I'm quite sure he can hear us through the power of this crystal. Darn right, Dad. Go, Gonzales, go get him! Mario, you lovely thing. Gonzales? Go, Gonzales! Huh? M Mario? G Gonzales? Not L Luigi. Oops. He found out in the worst way possible. We are assembled, Mayor. Duh. Good work, my comrades. Now let us do it. Ready, on? Mario! Bom bom, you the bomb! Shabumi! Shabumi! Mario, you can do it! Oh, oh! Go, bro! You go, bro! Is that. Can you hear the Mario? So many voices. You go, bro. Go, Luigi. Uh, I mean, Mario. They're, they're all sending us their wishes and positive energy. What wondrous creatures. Uh, uh, what are these vile voices? Mario, look at that. Uh, what is this light? No. Oh. Oh. Mario. That voice. Princess Peach? Mario, I... Oh, what? You wretched little girl. You disobey me? Mario, take... Take the last of my power. Huh? Oh, yeah, baby. What's this now? I feel rather like a new bomb. -bom. I feel fantastic. You brat! Obey me, girl! Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. Peach! Ah, very cunning, princess. But you will not undo me. Know me as your queen! Mario, the time is right. We've almost done it. Enough. This ends now. Okay, let's see if we can actually deal damage now. That would be so sick, you know. Beautiful. So now it's time for us to use our special little move, the supernova. It's time to win this battle and win the entire game and finish the game. I am this close, I can feel it.
They helped me with the final battle and they know that I'm ready for it. They know that I'm gonna win. They know that I'm gonna protect them all. Let's go! Get yourself some damage, buddy. 15 damage, let's go. What? How is it that you can hurt me? Ah, yes, much better. Prepare for payback. Fools! The scary hands are back, but they're gonna be removed just the same! <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna use a power bounce here. Yeah, baby! Let's go, bingo! And a full, a oh, full house as well. Shush. Oh, attack power is very boosted now. That is uh, normally a problem, but let's keep, let's keep it steady. We don't need to overextend or overstay our welcome. All we gotta do is just damage her as much as possible. So from what I can gather, actually the supernova is not as good as the art attack because you can deal more damage with the art attack. Or can I? Mm, don't know. I'll just use it, because why not? It's so much damage, for free, almost. There we go. Just gotta slaughter that evil witch. Evil Peach. I'm sorry, Peach. I will always remember you, Peach. I tried to save you, but it was too late. No! Oh. Woo! Oh, we actually did survive that pretty well. There we go. Just take care of that. Now we have a little bit to work with. Hmm. What if I just did a piercing blow here? He's gonna boost herself again. But this is one of those times where I can literally waste her turn by defending with both members. That should reduce the damage to a very... Uh... And boom. Oh, that damage is the same no matter what? Oh, that's actually really bad. Bad information to get right now. Um, that's really bad, actually. That's super bad, honestly. <laughs> uh oh. That does nothing. That doesn't change anything. Just gonna make sure that those hands aren't in uh, play. You know what? Hmm. I need to use the one that heals, but I. Oh, Sweet Feast requires five. That's a problem. Okay, fair enough. We're just gonna use the uh, Ultra Hammer, I guess. <laughs> you do not know what you have done. Oh, well, she didn't boost herself this time. She was not interested in boosting herself. Well, don't mind if I do then. 59, we're so close. We have the five, so this is time for a sweet feast. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Okay, oh, that's good. That's actually a lot, beautiful. That recovered us quite a lot. Good, good. She's wasting her time doing whatever this is with summoning the hands every time. 
He's so interested in doing that every time, so that's good. That means we absolutely know what, how to handle her. Okay. We are so close. We are tantalizingly close. 47 HP left. Actually, this did more damage. The piercing blow did more damage. Just give a four times stylish move. Oh, there comes the hands. Oh, she's gonna boost herself. Okay, so this is where... Oh. Oh, that's a problem. That is actually a problem. Ooh, how do we handle that one? go and then I, mean, I could do the power bounce just here oh shit I failed that's so bad oh this is gonna be dangerous Ooh, really bad And those bombs are gonna explode. So what I want to do here is that I want to use an item. Mm. Yeah. We need to make sure Mario survives because he can actually, you know... If he dies, it's game over. So we don't want that. She's buffing herself again. The hand is gone. Beautiful. Okay, right, so we gotta switch you out. Swap the partner for... Ooh. Oh, actually, can we do this first? Because then we can switch over. Hmm. Can't do that. And do a normal jump. Oh, if we could replenish that, that would be so sick. But, uh... Oops! I need you. One, two, three, four. And with that stylus bonus? Come on. No! So close. No, it, it cannot be. How? And here it is, the big baddie. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. I don't I do not like that. Um hmm. I mean, I could use the Earth Tremor. Why not? Why not? It's better than nothing right now. Let's just rock with that. There we go. There we go. Off with those hands. We don't need those. 24 HP left. Oh! That's the tough one. That's a tough one. We have to deal a lot of damage in a very short, uh, like, amount of time. She's buffing herself again. 20 HP left. 14 HP left. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, ten, 10 HP left. We got this. We got this. Even if she damages this one time. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. Yeah, four HP. Oh my god, it's time. I think I'm actually winning. One, two, three, four. Yeah, baby! Let's go! Ah. What? Oh, no, don't tell me we have an... We have another face. I can feel it. Impossible. Unthinkable. How could I 
I cannot be beaten by lesser beings such as these. And I had just been reborn into this world. I cannot. I must not. My queen! <sighs> Wait, that was it? Really? Just one single battle? Oh! Huh. Oh. Did we actually do it? No! Let's get out of here, Marilyn! <laughs> hey, 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 wait! Princess Peach! Mario, over here! Princess Peach is alright. She's not even hurt. Uh, Mario. So, it's all over then. I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? Um, hey, that's okay, Peach. Don't worry about it. Thank you. All of you. Aha! There you are, Mario! Well, well, can you believe those brutes even came after me? An old Goomba? But I still made it here. I was so worried about you all, you have no idea. By the look of things, though, I guess we're in the clear. Am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yes, I seem to be in one piece, too, so all is well. So, without further ado, take a look at this! I found this on the way. It must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Roadport. My theory has been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Oh, Professor. Oh, don't bring me down now. It might be something great. And all's well that ends well. Now, how do we get out of this dank place anyway? Hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. Wow. Wow. So, you're leaving then? Well, that's too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. Ah, oh, Professor, we'd never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your research assistant for next term. Hmm, yes, that's right. And I thank you, Kumbella. Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, all right? And we in return will wish that you find all the best in the future. Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Um, Mario... Thanks to you, I found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I, I think I like myself more since I've known you. And I feel like I've grown closer to my dad. It's all so hard to put into words. Um... My dear, dear Mario, I'm ready to make my comeback into theater now. I found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I am so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once we've finished rehearsing. And bring Peach too, dear. Gonzalez. Oh yeah, wait, I've got to stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Because I was born in the glitz pit, and Gonzalez is and always will be the champ. So let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Uh, Mario, I feel, I feel like I've grown to love, 
Oh, yeah, um, never mind. Y yeah, sure. I do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. Mm -hmm. I I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So, don't forget me either. Well, old boy, it was most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still gaze down on a broken bomb. But now I'm off to see again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, it is time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. But I will not say farewell. Because you're welcome here anytime. And since you're welcome, you should come anytime you please, sweetie. Now be careful, and until we meet again, at you. Well, the boat almost here. Mario! <laughs> okay. What are they here for? Oh, we made it just in time. Take these with you. He brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy! These are very fresh mushrooms. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Everyone, if not for all of you, the world would have fallen into a horrible darkness. But your brave heart strove for peace and saved this world. I do not know how to thank you. But know that the entire world is in your debt. What nonsense! We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess! If you hadn't come to our little town, we'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Grotus. A thought gives me hives. Ah, look, your highness, I see the boat. Take care, everyone. Farewell. Oh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed up for a bit, but please come on board. I'll get your folks back to at full steam. Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. What is this? The end of a Persona game? They are all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too many good memories of Rogueport, what with the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario, I was very frightened when they took me. But, well, Tech was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help me as well. I always believe in that. Thank you, Mario. I... Maybe I should listen to Toadsworth and behave more like a princess from now on. Mario, look out there! Rogue Port's positively shining. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm getting shivers. I am getting shivers right now. Wow. Oh, wow. That's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though. How amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro. And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Yeah, you the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your new fungal mail gadget? Dear Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's lots, tons of Rogueport lore we still don't get. So my research with the Professor goes on and on. With the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. 
Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, know what was in the chest that the professor recovered? You're totally not gonna believe me when I tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> but I'll see you next. I'll tell you next time I see you. As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with too. Koops is living peacefully in Pedalberg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Pedalberg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than when you left Roadport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. <laughs> Flurries back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah! It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. And somehow Dupliss has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. Oh, and little Cinder? Yeah, he's fighting solo in the glitch pit. He says he's getting pretty close to the title match even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right or he'll get like so mad at me. He had said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Yes, Sender is cute. Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important after all. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldam's into evil. Oh, and Beldam also promised me she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Yep, I think the three sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. Bobbery goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul is healed. I ran into him on Kill Old Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy, I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone on Kill Old Key is well and they say hello. Mrs. Mouse is still running the bat shop in Rockport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a batch ninja. She said just the other day that she had found some super rare batch, actually. That's our globe-trotting mystery-making flirting little batch thief, huh? And off she goes. Oh yeah, in my travels I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed a lot, just like Beldam has. And I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on the mischief making. Oh, so she goes to the moon sometimes? Why would she go to the moon? Oh, <gasps> did Tech survive? Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? Yay! 
He says he really wants to see you and Peach again. Yay, Tick survived. I'm so happy. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there's one thing that kind of weighed on me and I never got to express to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. She was in love with Mario. We all know. You can't hide from us. Truth burns you. So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend Goombella. Hey, that's awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Ah, someone here? Excuse me, sirs. Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but... I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day and... I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadsworth found a treasure map. And I'm sure it'll lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So Mario, you luck to look for treasure, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. Oh, that was her. Never mind. <laughs> What about Bowser? Well, everybody, that concludes Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. The Thousand Year Borg is concluded. We are at the end. Thank you so much to each and every one of you that have been following for 72 episodes. You have been keeping your patience with me. You've given me advice throughout the game. You've been enjoying, or not enjoying, my uh, voice acting for the different areas, the different characters, the different uh, situations we might have ended up in. But overall, this game is such a treat. I've enjoyed this game from pretty much episode 5 and onwards. I've been having so much fun with it. So it has been a long journey, but we're finally at the end. While these credits are rolling, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this episode. Please remember to like this video, comment down below whatever you thought about this entire journey. And of course, thanks to every one of the patrons for making the Duke Zona Beta place. I appreciate a lot of you. This means that there will be a little bit of downtime with content until I figure out what to cover next time. But of course, it's gonna be another grand adventure that you're all going to have fun following, or I will definitely try my best to make sure of it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in another adventure, because the Duke's Zone returns in just a few moments. Thank you for watching. Hi.